sometimes I just laugh. I laugh at the shallowness of the reasoning of these people. People say, don't generalize that they are evils. Look, my people say, if one hand touch oil, it stains the whole remaining fingers. Ibo should be able to rail in their rotten heads. If they are not able to rein in their rotten heads, then others will generalize. Because these so-called people, they don't represent Ibo, but they abuse other people. And other Ibos keep quiet and ignore it as if it is nothing. So when the other person speaks, they say, oh, why are you generalizing? So why don't you discipline your recastrant, idiotic, stupid evils? Discipline them first. You have not done that. You are saying that others should not react. IPOB members always talk about oil production. That what is the uh, benefit that the job people have derived from oil production? As if there, is, there are no oil producing communities in Igbo land. There are no oil producing areas in Igbo land which qualify them to be part of uh, NDDC when they are not Nanja Delta. Now they are claiming Nanja Delta. The oil producing area, Oaza, Asa, Egbema, Uguta. Ndokwa, Oba, Ekpe, Ikwere. These are Igbo areas that produces oil. Who is in the management of those oil? Is it the Igbo people that are managing it? They are even worse off. Today, it just are, are benefiting more from oil than any other people. And whatever benefit that accrues to other people is a fight of the job people. So before the Igbo people call us, they should look at themselves, they should go and take control of the Oasa oil field. They should go and take control of the Asa oil field. They should go and take control of the Indukwa oil field. They should go and take control of the Oba oil field. Then we will take them serious. Cowardly people. You should be able to address their people and talk to them. They are cowardly people. We, when we stand, the whole world shakes. The oil price come down. What have you done? Only ranting. Cowardly rant. They come to have they good. That's why they can't bribe you. You feel that they bribe us. We fight away, Keme. You have nothing other than to rant. We want you. I challenge Namdi Kano and his group. Now go and take Owasa oil field. Go and take Egbema oil field. Go and take Okuta oil field. Go and take him to go oil field. If you are men, we will take it at will. We close it down at will. The flow station on my family land. I closed it down. Since the year 2000, till today, they are still begging to open it. The Bukuma Creek Float Station. I brought it down 100%. That's on my family. I cannot go and go and take other people's own. Come and see it. Till today, they are begging to bring it back. We are watching how they are going to bring it back. In Lam the Kanu should go and do the same thing. Whatever benefit that oil producing area are getting today, it is from the struggle of a job people. Solely from the struggle of a job people. Whether it is uh, NDDC, Ninja Delta Ministry, or the MST, it is solely from our struggle. Carry out your struggle and bring something to your people. Let us see. Than ranting, cowardly rant, rats. Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Asari Dokumbo challenged Jinam Dekanu Hypo to take over Hoyle Field in Southeast. Asari Dokumbo, former Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, NDPVF, has challenged Jinam Dekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Hypo, to stop ranting. 
the Kumbo, a former Niger Delta warlord, has asked Kanu and the High Pope to stop ranting and take over Hoya Field in the southeast. He issued the challenge in a video posted on his Facebook page on Monday. According to Dokubo, I laugh at Igbo people. They should be able to rein in their rotting heads, and if they are not, others will generalize because some of them don't represent Igbos because but abuse others. Igbo should, discip should discipline their they are recalcitrant, idiotic and stupid fellow Hebrews. High Pope members always talk about higher production and questions the benefits Ijo people have derived from higher production, as if there are no higher producing communities in Igbo land which qualifies them to be part of the NDDC when they are not Niger Delta. The higher producing areas in Igbo land, like Hwanza, Aza, Okwata, and Indukwa, and Oba, who is in the management of those higher fields? Is it the Higbo people that are managing it? Today, Ijo people are benefiting more from higher production than any other people, and whatever benefits are called, whatever be benefits are accrued to others from higher is a fight of the Ijo people. So before the Higbo people call us, they should look at themselves and take control of all these oil fields. Then we will take them seriously. They should be able to address their people. We, when we talk, the whole world shakes. Higher price comes down. But then, when have they done? What have they done only to rant? They have nothing other than to rant. I challenge Nam Dekano and his group to take over Owanza, Egbema and other higher field if they are men. We take and close down higher fields at will. The flow stations on my family land and I close it now since 2000. Inam Dekano should go and do the same. Whatever benefit higher producing areas are getting today is from the struggle of the job people. Be it NDDC. Amnesty is solely from our struggle. Carry out yours and bring something to your people. Let us see rather than ranting cowardly rant. Wow. So guys, what is your own take about this? You've heard what uh, uh, Tokumbo said, you know. Try to blast uh, the, the Higbos and all of them, you know. But there is no truth in anything that he said. Trust me. But a lot of people were saying that there is truth in what Asari has said. Somebody said forced, I pop leaders insult lots of people without minding the negative consequences it has on Igbos. Secondly, many Igbo higher producing communities have no plan of their own to prosper from their God-given wealth. They tend to leverage on the agitations led by Ijaws. Sometimes you hear the truth from unexpected quarters. They said, tell them. Is only ranting and abusive comments on social media. Prove what you achieved to your people in high pope struggle. You know, somebody said, how can I take someone who converted from Christians to Muslim because of money serious? I said, I have sold these people for a pot of soup. And he thinks Igbos are like them, are like him. They said, criminal, we don't need you in restoration of Biafra. Because we already know who you are. You know, I've been hearing about this, this Asari Dokumbo, you know. Hearing uh, a lot of things about him. That uh, Dokumbo is a criminal. He tries to tarnish someone's image and all that, you know. And here we are. This is exactly what Asari Dokumbo is doing right now. Trying to tarnish the image of Inam Dekanu and Biafran people. You know, and I trust Biafran people, they will not come with fight. But the way they will deal with Asari Dokumbo, he will never forget it. I'm telling you. But people are saying that I have been saying this right from the time that he was lack the basic ingredients of intertribal relationships. They abuse people who are superior to at will. Meanwhile, they are very empty people. How do you two allow enemies to sow bad seed among you? 
I was told you both were good friends. Why all this quarrel now? I don't like it. Please amend and bury the ashes, please. Dokumbo is like you are jobless because I noticed 24 hours you are in, on social media. Hmm. What I can say to this is that Inam De Kano, at least ever since I've been hearing about Inam De Kano, Inam De Kano does not engage in irresponsible things such like what Asari Dokumbo is doing right now. He is a very decent man. He's not a child. He is a crusader for the rebirth of the nations of Biafra. That is his own focus. And whatever any people says, let them begin to say it. The focus is to get the freedom for Biafran people. And that's the main thing. Inam Dekano is not like Asari Dekumbo. He's a white man. He's a very wise man who knows how to get what he wants. And Biafrans is what Igbo people want right now. Biafrans, they don't want the higher field. It is not their own focus. So let Asari Dokumbo pursue the issue of higher field. Let him keep on looking for higher field. So guys, what is your own take? What do you think about this news? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you if you're yet to do so. Please kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news. God bless you once again. And don't forget to always stay safe at this crucial time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.